Hi Hawks, happy Friday, Mrs. Wynn here. Don't forget that tonight is our magic show. And just remember that you have to pre-register in order to participate. So make sure that you follow the links in the Hawk Alert so that you can join us for a really fun evening tonight. All right, so boys and girls, have you ever had a day that didn't go the way you wished it had? And you just wish you could just start it all over again and try, try a different way? Well, that's what our story is about today, and I think you'll enjoy it. It's called The Do-Over Day by Julia Incero and Miro Tartan. The Do-Over Day. It was tuck-in time. You're deep in thought, Layla, Grandma said. I'm just thinking about today. I need a do-over day. You want to do the day all over again? asked Grandma. Oh no, it means you get to do things differently. Mom has do-overs all the time. It's for when things don't go well. You try to have a better day tomorrow. That sounds really smart, said Grandma. What went wrong today? Well, first I had to get up early, even though it was Saturday. Mac used my favorite cup at breakfast, and the maple syrup touched my strawberries. Then Nina used all my favorite socks on her octopus, so I had to wear plain white. Mom said I couldn't wear my mermaid costume to the dentist. And at the dentist, Nina got to push the elevator button first. Mac and Nina got to ride in the grocery cart and pretend they were flying, and I had to hold on to the side. The store was all out of Odeos, so we got Nina's favorite Weedy Bees. Yuck. Nina's window was down more than mine, and Mom said we didn't need to get any donuts, even after I told her that it was Secret Donut Saturday. Mrs. Carver said I wasn't allowed to wear my rain boots for ballet class. Then at home, Mom said don't put makeup on the cat. Coco stole my pencil, and Mom said I had to include Nina and Mac when I played Cupcake Maze even though they play it wrong. After that, Dad said I couldn't use his tools, and Mac and Nina got to lick the cookie batter bowl. I only got the spoon. And then Mom said I couldn't eat nine cookies, even though she knows that nine is my favorite number of all time. Dad questioned whether I actually used soap to clean my hands, and he said I couldn't wear my snorkel and fins in the bathtub. Mom told me I couldn't wear my tutu to bed. Nina chose pink prancing ponies for a bedtime story, even though she chooses it every single night, and Coco wanted to sleep with Mac instead of me. Grandma sat quietly and held Layla's hand. Then she said, you have quite the memory. That's a lot to deal with. So what would you do differently in your do-over day? Layla thought for a moment. I guess it would be difficult to wear my mermaid costume in the car and maybe wearing rain boots would make it hard to pirouette. Nina really does love pushing elevator buttons so we could take turns, said Layla. Those are great ideas, said Grandma. And maybe I could just wear my snorkel in the bath and use the fins at the beach. Grandma smiled. You know, sometimes I have bad days too, said Grandma. Do you think I can have a do-over day as well? Layla smiled. Definitely, everyone can have a do-over day. Good night, my love, said Grandma. Good night, Grandma. I love you.
Now I'm excited about having my do-over day. Do you ever have a bad day? Nothing goes right? Want to know what I do? I think about what happened. I think about how it made me feel, and I think about how I acted. Then I try to think how I could do it differently next time when I get my do-over day. Why don't you try it? And boys and girls, they give several examples here of different ways that you could have a do-over day. And that is the end of our story. So boys and girls, I hope you liked that one. I thought it was good. We all deserve a do-over day every now and then, I think. So with that, have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday for Monday Story. Bye, everybody.